Okay. Everything should be working. Uh... Hey everyone! Welcome to <laughs> Man Eater! Uh, this is the game you guys wanted to see next. Apparently. I mean, I say that only one person voted on the poll <laughs> compared to like the four people who voted for Dead Space. But yeah, a vote's a vote. So, Man Eater it is. Um, if you guys don't know what this game is, the best comparison I can give you is Jaws Unleashed, if you guys know that game from like PS2 era. Basically, you play a shark <laughs> who goes around terrorizing locals, more or less. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the game. I looked at my playtime for this. Um, it was 11 hours, so that's again it's around what I had for like Dead Space, so probably two streams again for this game. And that includes doing everything. Like, I got the Platinum Trophy for this. So... Shorter game, more or less. Which is fine. Let's just uh, look over everything. I'll mess with the sound if you guys feel like it's too low at any point in time. Uh, turn subtitles on. Alright, everything looks to be good. Uh, also, the Truth Press stuff is DLC. I don't have the DLC, nor do I have plans of buying it, because while I like this game, I don't like it enough to pay $14 for what they're describing is like a single level, so maybe one or two hours more of gameplay. So we're just doing base game for this. Yeah, okay, so like me finishing the game, roughly 11 hours. So that's what you can expect from this. Because I probably will be trying to do everything like I did the first time I played this. Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Like the oh, people. <laughs> we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, about 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fonte Bayou. <clears throat> Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. I like how like the human plot of this game. <laughs> it's like a reality TV show about fishermen who hunt sharks. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. Yeah, I'm fine with the current look settings. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Predator's 350 fearsome teeth are put on full display. Just going off like the intro stuff and like what you're seeing now. This game is very much like it is gory in a sense, but it's like kind of campy horror fun. If you want to think about it that way. What 
what is is there a swim faster? Uh oh, L2, okay, got it. Oh, the tutorial wants me to tail whip things. Okay. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. We just started the game. <laughs> A hungry heart approaches the vulnerable prey. This game uh, should be fairly chill, too. I don't remember it being difficult. It's very much a you can turn off your brain and play this kind of thing. <laughs> a shark fan is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. <laughs> I love the fucking narration in this game. Fall off the, the boat. The big fish plunges to the ocean below. He did. <laughs> the bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Right now we're kind of just doing tutorial stuff, as you can see. Oh, your experiment. Oh, the. Food you were talking about yesterday? A breaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. Get a quest. Kill beachgoers. That is over this way. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty good. While it is well known, I know it's probably trademark, but mollusks, <laughs> you could have added the shells. <laughs> less disgust is their propensity to feed on fear.
It must be emphasized that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That Scamming shark peeps and hunters right after me. No, Go no. Him, Our window evade. How you doing there, shark? Oh, Jesus. Oh, got one. There we go. Like, if sharks actually did this shit, <laughs> like, that'd be way more terrifying. <laughs> Aboard the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, this my daddy's on all right. But this ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? Oh, but well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. Man! 
The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You can never want to turn off that girl. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, yeah, I knew that about those sharks. They usually go into fresh water to give birth. That's their thing. This music's like copyrighted, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> it's fine. I don't really care. A famous big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Look at me, I'm just, I'm a little baby. I'm just a little lad, a little ass. <laughs> I think they said I was female, right? Little shark. And I remember, uh, that I don't show them on the map yet. There's like a lot of like side stuff to do instead of just uh, trying to go after Pete, basically. Baby shark. <laughs> no one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. So I'm gonna go over that way, right? In this eat or be eaten world, there's little room for error or sentimentality. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. All right, evolution. Need more points before I can upgrade anything, it seems. advanced sonar though. I'm locked, do I? Oh, I do. It just... Yeah, I have that. So the other things I probably have to actually get. We're not. Tiger body. <laughs> Exhibiting behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. Good 
just a bunch of shark bags. Nice. Um, okay. Oh, what's that? What is map? So now it shows me the extra things nearby. So there's license plates, which are collectibles, and like side quest stuff. And landmarks. Which I don't think we'll be able to get that license plate yet. You have to like jump on land to get this one, I remember. Oh no, we got it. A shark's gills are not designed to function out of water. Ooh, that's an alligator. Let's kind of avoid that now. Because we're a tiny baby. When planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. Oh, jeez. Not wrong. So let's see, there's this. Kill 10 catfish. Let's do that one first. the alligators as best as we can. Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake.
Ooh, well, I know what Cap is. Catfish. Let's see. of Fawtick's Keystone Predators has led to a super abundance of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. Oh, okay. So, what's our other objective? And a musky. Got it. Uh, let's see. I think the pests have a long combat. There we go. Can I upgrade anything now? The peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Yeah, I have any like other upgrades, really. Two thousand to upgrade sonar. Nothing else. All right, that's fine. over here. or musky, is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region. So I have no idea what it's doing here. Yeah, good question, yeah. <laughs> Why is it in, like, Louisiana? In the bayous? I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home. And let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. Wait, can we, like, join the bayou? 
Das ist <lacht> uh. Ooh, alligator. More fish, alligator, another fish. Well, we might as well keep going after them. Probably can't take on the alligators yet. Level four. Oh, it wants me to visit the Corrado. Okay. Oh, but there's loot nearby. In the chest. Bed up. Bed up. Get this. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. Is that, is that word they're <laughs> calling me sea wolf? ever heard anyone call sharks sea wolves the shark is now a team and we should expect much angst on we and poor decision making <laughs> much angst <laughs> okay Uh, I can upgrade the sonar, I guess. If I get it at 8,000, I can upgrade this body, and that gets me more uh, upgrade stuff from eating. Let's just do sonar for now, I guess. For a teen now, we should have even more of an easy time. Uh, those are still alligators, getting rid of the fish and stuff. I don't know about the alligators, like... We'd have to see what level they are. up there. Might have to wait till we're larger. Yeah, larger. Have a better jump.
loot box over here. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. I think we are, okay. How about the alligator? Oh, eight. Alright. can be used for more than mere underwater propulsion. Here we go. And we have another one over this way. Also loot boxes. A lot of jealous quotes there, yeah. The shark's life expectancy is at half, which is a shame, as we're all hoping for a second season. But <laughs> this can't push real quick. Watch it because the alligator also has like a tail whip. I think I got rid of his leggies. He has no legs. How is he doing anything? The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Scientific technology shark made up. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, now back here there is a landmark. Someone should have taken a gun safety class. <laughs> oh shit, I didn't even notice. Yeah. Um. Ah. Huh. <laughs> yeah, someone shot the driver. The easiest way over there, like a through and around. I think that's another landmark right there. There we go. A local critic once wrote that Amos Beauregard was the Rodin of the Bayou, but Beauregard was functionally illiterate and had no idea who Rodin was. <laughs> All right. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. There we go. Where are we? Over here. Oh, I'm nearing the other fish to fight. Don't go through there. I used to buy sunshine sunscreen until I read it contains seven hormone disrupting chemicals and palm oil. Uh, okay. <laughs> So we know we could take on normal alligators. I wonder if these are around the same level.
The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable functions. Level 15. Oh, yeah, no, can't go after the gator. Wonder if this other one's the same then. This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying my best, alright? No license plate. I don't know if I can jump to that one. Yeah, I need more for like a air jump. Can you get those? shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. So I can't deal with the alligators yet. The quest ones, anyway. I guess, well, we have this over here. Well, uh, try to get as many of the caches that are around before going, though. A clock would hardly be the strangest thing ever retrieved from a crocodile's mouth. This is a reference to Peter Pan, right? Captain Hook? <laughs> Now. 
There is a thingy over here. There we go. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of <gasps> flotsam and jetsam. Right. There's one over here. I can't get the license plates yet. Cause I need a higher jump. Oh, let's see. Quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Alright, and then all of these are question marks, so let's go check these out. swim past and avoid the level 15 gator. Is it like below me? No, I'm not even. It's a little bit this way. Yeah, it looks like it's below. So I wonder, I probably have to like open a gate or something. Well, there's water in the middle of the land. Do I have to like jump to it? Uh, there we go. Nice. Look like there's anything dangerous in here, thankfully. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. both foreign and familiar. Oh yeah, instant coffee. Yeah, it's pretty great. And honestly, like, I really can't tell the difference between like, you know, the background stuff you have to get and then like have a coffee maker for, you know? Uh, okay. Yeah, there we go. 
No, I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, there's a landmark over here? Yeah. Plus it's just like, instant coffee is just like so easy to use and like make. It's just like you need some hot water, like however much you want for like a cup, so like 6 ounces or 12. And then like, how much coffee your whatever brand you got recommends. For me, it's like a six ounce cup of coffee. It's like one teaspoon of instant coffee. Which is fine, because like when I add the creamer to the cup afterwards, it's like a full cup of coffee, pretty much. Remember, if you find yourself hard aground, the best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable seaman. Uh... <laughs> okay. Is that what happened? He got stuck somewhere and he's like, well, I guess I'll die. <laughs> Even teaspoon for eight, yeah. Well, since the coffee's just nice, like, when all you want is a cup, you know? And you don't want to, like, mess around with, like, buying, um... I know they sell, like, versions of... Keurigs, or, like, off-band Keurigs, where it's just, like, the single cup making part, but it's still just easier to, like, get, like, something like an electric kettle, kettle that, like, quickly boils water and, like, use instant coffee. He was right next to shore and he just d decided to die. I'll have to come back there when we're a little bit As higher. As a result level, of industrial that's... pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. For some reason it's called Dead Horse Lake. <laughs> like, uh. Okay, yeah, so what's the want me to do here? I'll get to this grotto. No, okay. They can break the knees. Like to me it sounds like a bunch of horses fucking died here, not that they like, didn't want to drink the water. Which I guess they could have died from dehydration. Like, or maybe drinking the water killed them. Because this place is apparently toxic. <laughs> This is just another way out, I guess. Yeah, it's the best bet. The water killed the horses. Ooh, what is what is that? Jellyfish? So glowing purple.
Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Here, kudos. Alligator! Let me go. There's so many gators. <laughs> I know it's Louisiana, but come on, there can't be that many alligators. One? Jeez, there are three in this like one tiny spot. <laughs> There's so many gators. So like dying.
do to like follow me in here so I have more room to kind of move around. Sometimes <laughs> even sharks just need to dirty bone. Seen anything in here, Molly? I don't think so. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Well, I know Barracuda. Oh, I can't actually go through here? Hmm. How do I go back up? Ha! Ah.
trash man. The artist spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals. Amazing. <laughs> The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Good upgrade body. Oh, I can upgrade again too. Yeah, we'll leave it. Let's see. Kill ten groupers. Consume ten humans. Story target. We appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. There was a question mark over here. No, it's a great. Oh, I have to be an adult to go that way. Okay. I guess seeing the groupers, they want me to kill her back in the tunnels. Which, the only way to get there is back this way?
No, no, there's over here. Okay. Oh, fuck. There are two alligators. <laughs> Why? Why are there so many alligators? <laughs> Try to ignore them, just go after the groupers if I can. like two more. I don't see any. nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. What? No. <laughs> I don't think the shark would actually be testing that. I, mm. <laughs> but at the same time, will, will it give me superpowers?
Very nice. Okay. Any more quests? There's a gate. There's an adult. Right. So I think the rest are over here, actually. People... Uh, fight a barracuda. More groupers. The peace of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness. Does it? Oh, I can upgrade. Yeah, let's keep upgrading a uh, sonar. Why not? here until local police departments settle a dispute over jurisdiction these two remain a popular attraction for selfie seeking snorkelers uh <laughs> all right License plate, like way up there. Yeah, I need to be able to like keep like jumping in, in air if I'm ever gonna reach that. Like, jeez. Supercharged with gene altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. not be swimming in this girl's ass lake. Like, there's trash everywhere. and barracudas are just as dangerous to each other as they are to swimmers. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and use pregnancy tests. Okay, that's kind of... That, that's real gross. Also, Trash Island. <laughs> that's another, uh... license plate I probably cannot reach. Yeah. Too high.
As with many social movements, the annual Driftwood Man Festival purports to foster progressive change, but it's really just an excuse for hippies to flout public nudity laws. What? <laughs> Only these descriptions. Right, target undiscovered over here. Most know him as the friendly face of Captain Winky's fish and chips. In real life, the pirate was a genocidal monster who murdered and enslaved thousands. Uh, huh. Huh. Why has no one found this yet? It's gold. It's not even that deep. Uh, turn around. I need water. There's an item over there. It's the best way to get to it. There we go. Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Need to do a little bit of a better jump there. To get Burning Man, yeah, it probably was. Gator is probably level 15, like the other ones are. You can go after the groupers and then the people, I guess. Take a bite out of organized crime. Did I? Oh, this no. shark's cartilage can now be utilized for scientifically specious alternative cures and health supplements. <laughs> Should have just grabbed that dude and jumped off. Here, it's difficult to miss humans' impact on the natural world.
So the boat was like level 12. So I guess we'll wait on that one. Coopers are the spay. So it was an elevator. Two alligators. for the most part. Are they still moving around like this? Apex Predator, huh? Ooh, it'll give me bone teeth. Interesting. We're gonna go after the people at the beach first, or wherever they are. Yeah, I'd love the recipe. I learned recently, um... Well, the big deal with the spirit food every before I continue. Um... Culver's. Which is like a huge thing in the Midwest, but they have a few here in Arizona. Uh, they have one in my town, surprisingly. I learned... 
Yeah. No, apparently it popped up like a year or two before I moved here. Um, they have a really good beef pot roast sandwich, and it's basically like the beef version of pulled pork, and it's like so good. <laughs> it's like the uh, as soon as I learned that that existed, I was like, okay, well, look, this is one of the few things I'll be getting from Culver's from now on. It's like that and they're like fish dinners, so they're fried fish, are like surprisingly really good. I would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. Uh, huh. So there's like mafia stuff. Can I eat these? Oh my god, I can. Or I can at least bite them. Can I jump to this one? I needed like a little bit of a more of a head start. There we go. Nice. There's something else over here. Another question mark. In there. Uh... The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. This is on the alligator, but I don't want to fight it. Oh, let me out. No, I might have to fight it. I have to like time my jump good. Get out of here. Same level as the alligators. <laughs> this stealthy predator appears to be seeking food perpetually, stalking its prey day and night. Do I actually have to jump out, or can I just like fast travel out of here? No, good. <laughs> fast travel. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang. Just of the one in every surrounding state, but not here. Wow. That sucks, cause in my opinion, uh, Culver's is like one of the better, like fast food restaurants, in terms of like the quality of their food. Also service, too. Like, the one here in Sierra Vista, anytime we go, it's like always busy. Because of that, probably. Also their ice cream, like their uh, custard their, for like concrete mixers and like uh, shakes and stuff is just like super good. <laughs>
go munch on some people. No, Concrete Mixer, they're like, what would be the comparison? Is it like blizzards from um, Dairy Queen? Like the ice cream's like thick enough that if you were to like tip it upside down, it would not come out of the container. Like that's why it's labeled Concrete Mixer, I guess. It's really thick. Um... And usually they're like a create your own thing because they have a bunch of different toppings and add-ins. Um, the seasonal one right now though is like it's like pumpkin caramel. It's like sea salt caramel pumpkin concrete mixer, which is really good. But it's like besides that, because those are like I guess you consider them like really thick shakes or whatever. Uh, they have like, you know, just general scoops of their ice cream. They have like a flavor of the day that changes daily, <laughs> obviously. Um, they had some pretty good flavors. Like they had a chocolate caramel toffee one one day. It was real nice. They had pieces of like the toffee candies in it. And I have things like Oreo Overload, so it's like chocolate ice cream with like Oreo bits in it. <laughs> Serious, what you get if a bartender hates you? Jeez. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Yeah, they have some, I don't know. I like Culver's, like, custard, their ice cream. They also, um, they have a little fridge, like, inside of the restaurants, too, where you can buy, it's, like, pint-sized versions of the ice cream. So if you ever want to take some home <laughs> and eat it, you can, you know? Like, have it in your fridge or whatever. Like, you would be buying ice cream at the store. Uh, Coldstone Creamery does the same thing. I get ice cream from there occasionally too. Clovis's communal guard against shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god, Dakiwaka. Let me up there. <laughs> got a regular there from Mingo Joe's. Even say it's a tourist trap. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on there. Do not serve me. Hey, you're down there,
Assume 10 humans. Assume even more humans, huh? Banana ice cream? Yeah, I have no idea. I assume we're still talking about ice cream, right? Alright, I took my bite out of the day. Port Clovis has grown bored yeah. of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. I don't know, like if you don't find it in stores, like shark general stores and stuff, dolphin. there's gotta be like some specialty squid. like ice Boat cream store or brand pilot. that makes when establishing banana, dominance, right? the contest is usually a deadly one, with survival as the prize. So I was just thinking about, um, we were talking about, uh, my boyfriend and I yesterday, Baja Blast, because he really likes that flavor of Mountain Dew, but it seems like you can only, it's not in stores, right? Like, you can't go to the grocery store and get it, it's like you have to get it while ordering food at, like, Taco Bell or someplace. And I was thinking, well, like, surely, it, like, you could check Amazon, and if not Amazon, then, like, Mountain Dew, like, maybe sells it on like some website right <laughs> you would think because if a lot of people like it then why wouldn't they try to like make extra money by selling it directly to you you know and i think about like the that taffy place i sent you a link to like surely there's got to be like some ice cream company out there that makes banana ice cream and then it's just the problem of like, do they ship it, you know? Because, uh, Swiss Colony uh, is mainly located, I don't know if they have stores anywhere outside of Wisconsin, I'm pretty sure they do. But like, mainly around like the Wisconsin area. Like, their major operation is uh, in Wisconsin anyway. Uh, now you always go for them for things like petty for yours, the like mini cakes and like some other seasonal stuff. I would order their cheese and like meat selections from them because they have some like really good like platter stuff like sausages and stuff for like crackers. But they don't have refrigerated trucks when they ship things, oddly enough. So unless you're ordering that shit like here in Arizona in winter time, that like, by the time you get the cheese and meat, it's probably gonna be bad. <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, you you think a food company would use refrigerated trucks when like shipping things, but I guess not. It makes me think of that uh that pink sauce lady, the controversy about her shipping her stuff because it had like milk in it, and how it generally be bad by the time people got their orders. The predator surveys the beach with black fathomless eyes. sound of shotguns and molly hatchet disturbs the serenity of an otherwise calm sea. I mean, I'm not an ornithologist, but I think it's probably a bad idea to get in the middle of flamingos' natural migration cycles. Just saying. Bye, you willy! <laughs> The Scourge of the Swampland, Bayou Willie. I feel like if you're hunting sharks, you're doing it on the back of, uh, 
these is not the best idea. <laughs> You get like bumped deep in a little bit. You're going off the back of that thing. This latest cycle of attacks will certainly be among the most infamous chapters in the long troubled history of human shark relations. <laughs> yeah, goat similar shenanigans. Yeah, this is a pretty, like, over-the-top, ridiculous game. Bioelectric evolution. Releases electricity, stunning nearby targets. Nice. Make no mistake, those shark hunters may occasionally drink on the job, they know actually that's pretty irresponsible. <laughs> Shark extermination. I don't want to kill another shark. Wait for them to kinda stop looking for me. The battle is over, but the war goes on. There we go. Need to be an elder to get in there. And more stuff to go after. Hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. Ugh, I need them to leave <laughs> so I can go check out my upgrade. Human's attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. <laughs> already forgotten about me and my many crimes. game with like little fanfare, can you stop with the oh they're attacking you even though know, they lost you like 10 fucking seconds ago like i just want to fast travel out of here broken ass search system like jeez It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Cl It's here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. Yeah, sure. Electric teeth. Why not?
So, quests. We have... Alligators. We have... People. Barracuda. How high level do you think the Barracuda is? Friendly, okay. <laughs> The Needle Tooth Nightmare, the Barracuda. Oh, it's hot. Okay. Unlike the cautious shark, the Barracuda is often quick to attack. Despite the catfish's highly developed auditory system, lab tests reveal they still prefer CDs over vinyl. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to, like, get over to, like, where food is, but... <laughs> Damn, it's the number of stars. Shark's tail alone can draw blood. Barracuda. While most recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio stable, did you <laughs> they know that it's it. also a fish? Well, it's true. <laughs>
Where's the dot? Okay, well we did that one. We can't really go in any of these yet. Great adult. Yeah, so... Elder. Adult. Guess go after more people? A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. So there's electric or bone. Back thrash to a boat light. Electric charge every time you bite. Let's go through thrash damage. Why not? Yeah, it's usually, usually moderation, yeah. There, there's, like, no faith there. I'm a crocodile, level 13. What level am I? Level 8, so, okay. Leave you be until like I'm level 10 or something. Which it, like the shark marker at the bottom is flashing? It's like you can't travel during combat. Nothing's trying to fight me right now. Kim, I don't understand. Like, seriously, because an alligator is nearby, I can't fucking leave? Out what like the gold marker at the bottom means. <laughs> the shark returns once again to her safe haven. It's not really saying, it just keeps like flashing, and I don't know what that's for.
for the coming two days, uh. That's cool, I guess. Uh, I'm not really a big sports person, so... I don't really care. The mighty predator struggles for air. The spring of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty theft. Jeez. It's a shame that human and shark must so often meet. Dead Horse Lake should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. Gotta be the best at something. Clovis's most disreputable citizens have converged on the area. Another shark hunt draws to a close. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors or flavors. <laughs> Nice. Handyman special overlooking breathtaking panoramic lake views. Open living with vintage appeal. Call Deborah. What? Hit me underwater. Look at the alligators.
others nearby. Need like two more. In certain animal communities, albinos may be excluded from groupings or rejected as mates. Do you, the people over here for this mission or? look like it. Do I just have to wait for like new people to spawn or is there no longer like people over here for me to grab? Port Clovis takes up arms in the name of a murderous cause. Yeah, it has to be from people around that island. So I guess I just have to wait for new ones to spawn. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now. Okay. Like, there's no one here for me to go after. I guess leave this and go do another one. Hope people spawn in.
Red McCord. I wouldn't know him from Adam. If he kill another fisherman, that's between them and him, yeah? I guess? What? <laughs> what is he talking about? Oh yeah, the knockoff games, yeah. Okay, people are back here, so I just had to leave for a little bit. Say what you want. Them hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shawl. Why does he get against the sun? Like, jeez. I guess let's go after this boat. Now that I'm a little closer and level to it. Danger on the water for shark hunters? Determine process servers. Their boats laden with bench warrants and affidavits. Bobby Bojangles! <laughs> Bro, these names. The bartender life ender, Bobby Bojangles. Posted some guys' video like an hour ago. Thanks. Should have brought my fish finder. Should have brought my fish finder. <laughs> Despite Port Clovis' best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. over this way. Most shark hunters have close friends or family members who have been eaten or half eaten by sharks.
them polarized lenses. I just know she's near. Actually, I can hear what the hunters are saying. Did I, like, eat someone's, uh, radio? <laughs> The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Jones. Okay, before I go over there, I got an upgrade, didn't I? The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Yeah, hearty. Increase your health and resistance to be knocked off a boat. I immediately attacks. That's pretty good. Uh, upgrade sonar again. Oh, we maxed it out already. Wow, damn. <laughs> Jeez. We could upgrade. No, we can't upgrade bone teeth. We could upgrade the electric teeth. I'm not really using those. Let's upgrade body again. But we seem to be getting like enough upgrade stuff as is. I don't think it's really necessary to shoot for more. Well, before we go check in on Scaly Pete, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes.
Okay, I am back. No, let's go see what Pete's been up to. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to have my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. Uh-huh. But we wasn't close. He was a shark on her. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment. Got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that job. <laughs> the hash is like government. <laughs> government experiment. Found it once. <laughs> What, what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh, I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Man Eater, new episodes some days. Ten, nine central. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. So the way the narrator is talking, is there like a cameraman on the ship and then like a cameraman just swimming around following the shark as it eats people? Like, <laughs> they just have a view from both angles. The quest over here. Get to the grotto. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that because these are probably, if they're anything like the alligators that were back here, they're level 15. Which actually, what level am I? No. Level 9. And we'll wait until I'm like at least level 10 to try to go after those. So let's go with that. I mean, I. It'd be like one of the lesser weird things happening in this game. Just cameraman following the shark that this dude's trying to hunt down. It's like you can't tell the fisherman where the shark is because, you know, that ruins the the viewer count for the reality TV show they're doing. It's this way, right? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Not quite jumping now. There we go. 
Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals. Hmm. King Mackerels. Shark? You are. How did they make like almost dog noises? <laughs> Oh really? I'm just like swimming around minding my own business. Adult. I assume I'll be leveling up to adult soon. Here, right? Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Is it a golf course? It is. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with this par 7 humdinger. It's also hole 19. Usually it stops at like 18, doesn't it? 
Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. Nice. There's another box this way. I should probably go into the grotto first so I can level up. Of uh, police tape in this area. So, a lot of like RVs and stuff in the water. is now an adult and she should probably spend less Whoop. save more and start researching index mutual funds <laughs> hey anything to upgrade that needs 10,000. 10,000 blue as well. Okay. Ten mackerels, huh? You know, some open new the adult grades now. So. The shark uses lipids from high fat fare like this to help fuel her reign of terror. is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. Yeah, there this shark three understands three that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. <laughs> it's like over by a pool.
There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna angle myself like the right way to jump those. Back over the wall. I just got over here. There we go. <laughs> You're watching this with the big fish, too. Yeah. My cat gets interested in games I play sometimes. Uh, he likes to lay on my desk, like right in front of my screen, my monitor. <laughs> so, which playing games with a controller on console, it's like no big deal. Uh, trying to play Final Fantasy XIV using keyboard and mouse when you have a cat laying right in front of you is a bit more of a challenge. Occasionally he'll like paw at the screen when he when there are certain like little minions you have his pets following people around. Uh, let's see. So go up here in the Mako. Humans and Macros. Let's go after some macros for now. That's a couple of question marks over here I can uh, check out. We have a license plate. Over here. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Another license plate, huh? And there's stuff over here by one of the piers. Okay, so what is this one? shark demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. There was another one back, yeah, in here. Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shot. Uh... The clever predator shows a well-developed talent for finding food. Yeah, there's another undiscovered over here and then a bunch over here.
The Gulf Coast has one of the richest and most diverse ecosystems on the planet. Is it more stuff like in the golf course? Yep. New USGA rule 4.1A2 might have saved these damaged clubs from abandonment. This game will make you hungry. Yeah, a lot of eating fish for the most part. Probably ate more fish than we have humans, you know? In terms of like killer sharks, we're. I mean, we still killed a lot of people, but we're kind of on the mild end so far. Random mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. Right, okay, that's like a little shortcut. There are more on land? There are. Oh, that <laughs> place is playing is like way up there. I need it like better. I don't know if I'll be able to jump that high. Yeah, I did it. Nice. Gulf Coast, yeah. There's a grate over there. Anything dangerous? Doesn't look like it. Literally, just this box. There's a bull shark right is an animal of way. broad dietary proclivities. Bunch of mackerel and uh, catfish, huh? The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. <laughs> How? How did this many people end up driving golf carts into here?
This instantized protein makes a great between meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Man, there are so many collectibles in this place. Not really a gourmand, the bull shark will eat just about anything. Golf ball diving is an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for seven to ten cents per ball. Sounds horrible. <laughs> Man. The members of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginative. Okay, I'm gonna art critic over here. Jeez. All the mackerels we need to eat are like right here, so. What? Somebody like, jumped at me. Another shark. Still, please. Yeah, compared to the other one we just dealt with, this one's been a pain. Like it's entire back half. It should not be moving the way it is. <laughs> it's like dodging all my attacks.
Nothing you. gets a kingfish yeah, in the yeah. mood quite like watching a 73-year-old hit a double bogey. The fact that they've turned the waters off Baton Tordu into a spawning ground attests to their love of seniors golf. I, <laughs> I doubt that's the reason why there are so many of those fish around. I <laughs> love golf. of absorbing extreme amounts of water in their attempts to suck up prey. Where's Elder to get in there, huh? Okay, anything down this way? by now not to attack a shark like one must their size to dodge almost. the savage slash of the barracuda's underbite He has to go this way. Where does this go? No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage. Here, 
Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. Another resistance plate. Oh, almost. Jeez. Okay. You have to angle yourself jumping upwards. I'm all being like locked onto the license plate to fight it. No! Uh, didn't fight at the right time. Can you leave me be? I am trying to do something here. You are interrupting. Florida though, is it? It's Louisiana. The way they keep talking about bayous and like that dude's fake Cajun accent. There we go. Bust over here, get people. will not give up on finding their prey, at least until things quiet down or they run out of hard lemonade. come every year to Baton Tordu, because what other way is there to celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 What? But... <laughs> It doesn't make more sense. I mean, Florida is also 
kind of sus. There's yeah, a reason why there are so many Florida Man posts such memes, you know? Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Okay, let's see. There is a landmark over this way to grab. Hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules, but not for long if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. But, hmm. Wouldn't they even. Would hockey sticks even work, like, as good golf clubs? Because they're made for, like, a flat puck, not round golf balls. <laughs> Assume eight humans. Should also go after this Mako, I guess. It's over here. There's our target. So the barracudas need to mind their own business. Like, you're not gonna win this fight. Did Golden Shores import this Mako from Sri Lanka and train it to guard their community? Not likely, but let's pretend they did, as it makes for a more interesting storyline. <laughs> Alright, jeez. Lean over this way. Oh, another license plate. Gonna probably have to position myself like right under it. Launch upwards. <laughs> I 
No, stop like flying backwards. I need you to go forwards. Not back. Oh my god, like, can you guys please go away? I'm trying to eat license plates here. and lack of oxygen can be taxing for a shark. That ain't a dolphin. <laughs> Back when I was a boy, I thought I'd be a golfer. Damn, if I didn't like sinking sharks, a lot more better than sinking putts. The battle is over, but the war goes on. Okay, what else do we have? More humans. More Kilton mackerels. Quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality. Yeah, like, when it comes to, like, reports of shark attacks and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure bull sharks are number one cause, aren't they? Like, it's not great whites that you really have to watch for it's bull sharks. Especially since they have the ability to hang out in, like, rivers that lead into the ocean, so in like places like Louisiana and stuff. Probably even more so because they like give birth to their pups 
in the river, so like they're around that time where the females are probably super aggressive. And that's something you have to watch out for as well. So this is maxed. Can I do more health? I can. Use fat to upgrade, and then bone teeth are those. Yeah, sure, upgrade. You can actually get these to tier four. Oh, I see it tells you. You get more defense with bone teeth. You get more damage with the electric. Interesting. Oh jeez. Two thousand miles up river. Called by some the pit bulls of the sea, bull sharks counter that pit bulls are the bull sharks of the animal shelter. What? <laughs> Nice. Ooh, there's an apex. Another apex up now. Well, hold on. I'm level 14. I could probably go after these alligators. Go back here. Adult, adult. There's no elder.
great, so I could probably finish this area, the starting area. We would stop saying I'm in combat when Levine's trying to attack me. You know, so I can fast travel. I'm not in combat though. Are you talking about this one this one tiny ass red fish over here? This one. Way over here. This barracuda that's almost dead. grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. So what am I missing over here? There's a license plate that I couldn't jump to before because I was tiny baby. <laughs> uh, I should be able to get to it now. this way. Tin catfish. These blue quests, they're not like uh, never ending things, are they? Like you do so many and then more pop up? If that's the case, I might start ignoring these.
success of the film Mega Shark vs. Gatorsaurus has fueled the public's interest in the type of animal confrontation seen here. Uh, <laughs> okay. I think they're actually, it's not the same title, but there is a horror movie that is a giant shark versus a giant alligator, so... The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. In spite of their reputations as wrestlers, alligators haven't mastered the nuances of scientific holds like the figure four. Is this like an alligator theme park? Apex. Alligator. Hmm. For decades, Rosie has been a star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show, but our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. <laughs>
From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Get on the blue tube. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi edible detritus. be a cutoff like if you're x amount of levels above the creatures that are supposed to be hostile they stop being hostile but nah so i'm just gonna have forever have like level one muskies and like level five barracudas trying to kill me a uh level 14 shark <laughs> There's a license plate right there. Question mark over this way. Work, huh? well, let's see. 
While adorable, these soft stuff mascots don't provide much in the way of nutritional value. They're just a bunch of, oh, probably mascots for Rosie, the alligator. the last three things down here. And then we'll go see how difficult it is to fight Rosie. The now. Bayou <laughs> Brawler, the American Alligator. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are they? Oh, 20. Level 8 alligators. Had a button, didn't it? So, of course, I'm almost done. I had two things I had to worry about instead of one.
decades, Rosie go. has been a star in Big B's Bayou Buddy stunt show. But our shark is far too young to appreciate Rosie's classic brand of celebrity. Yeah, so the audio log just plays the same thing. At the start as it does when you finish. Okay. Just make it back around this way. If a group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic <laughs> rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, <laughs> who am I to judge? So Cthulhu slash HP Lovecraft reference. Make sure Fritz is Crockett Soros. Wait, is that an actual movie? What? <laughs> It was a joke title. <laughs> Jeez. Hey, we finished uh, the bio, so we never have to come back to this area. We got everything. Stuff in Dead Horse Lake. Adult, adult, elder. There's like one gate we won't be able to go through here, but we can go everywhere else. The shark returns once again to her safe haven. Amphibious? Allows you to survive longer and move faster on land. Increases how many proteins you gain in health. When you heal by feeding. Ooh. I'm not gonna really worry about this health on feeding. We're doing kinda good. Am amphibious though. I do like jumping on land. <laughs> it's kinda fun. And uh, upgrade arrow bro or I'll help again. So that's max now. So it's amphibious, nice. Oh. Christ Truth Quest. Oh, so the DLC gave you another organ. Wow.
That's fine. But oh, probably so you can increase all four. Have all four at once. Can't upgrade any of this for you. Just the revenge. Yeah, both sound equally like good choices. That one is like super high. I don't even know. If I can get Shark to jump that high. Yet. These alligators just do not learn. Flopping backwards instead of jumping forwards. Which it really loves to do when you're not locked onto something and try to jump. get close that last time. Might need like some type of better jump slash boost to get that one. that needs elder. Another crocodile over here. Or alligator rather. to our ocean seem overwhelming. 
But by working together now, we can ensure that future generations always have a place to dump their old tires. <laughs> Shark spots the Barracuda's glinting scales. You know, he's always like, <laughs> like literally an alligator. Can you not? It seems like now I can just kind of grab a bolt of them and kill them super quick. Holy shit, there's so many over here. Alligators as man killers in the 80s arcade game Jungle Jump nearly led to them being hunted to extinction. Is, there, is that an actual arcade game? It's hard to tell if they're making like references to real things or like jokes. <laughs> Here's doing an introduction when you meet, yeah. and uncompromising. Shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Alright, got another undiscovered this way. License plate? Yep. It's like up on the billboard. Uh, hmm. Referencing Pitfall, maybe? Here, I got that one. Is someone over 
here the one I was having troubles with, or is that the other one? Stuff over this way, back by the grotto. Every shark, no matter how small or docile, the man eater's longevity depends on the nimbleness. Now, can I fast travel? Like, jeez, game. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Just pot turns the blood of praise. You bite healing you in the process. Interesting. I have so many of the red, I might as well upgrade this. I was able to max them out. Better defense, only slightly less damage if I go with the shadow teeth. Too high. We'll ignore that one for now. I'm gonna go this way though. There's a grate we can bust open. Or two. And a bunch of undiscovered stuff. Shark's propensity to clear the ocean of its assorted detritus is one of their most valuable Great, functions. There, huh? Another uh, license plate.
I like how sometimes it's like, I nail it, right? I get to the height I need to be at, but other times it feels like super difficult. There we go. Oh, this gate probably leads to this area. Caviar key. If I had to guess. There's an item. One last question mark over this way. that. How do I get over there? Let's see. Is there another way besides this tunnel? its work of creating balanced ecosystems here and throughout the wild world. This leads back out. I wonder if I have to go through the Elder Gate to get that box. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh well. Ignore that. Bring us back to this area. Yeah, uh, what is this? Apex Mako? And a bunch of fighting people. Barracuda to go after. The bull yeah, imagine watching the all this. You just see like a shark refuge. jumping through the air. <laughs> Yeah, it's sometimes beaching itself to swim through the little pools on the golf course. <laughs> it's running around checking out landmarks and eating license place, you know? Yeah, now that I have the uh, uh, amphibian ability, I can uh, stay up here longer and land. Who knows? Maybe the shark's just here to add to her sea glass collection. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Not always better at the beach.
Oh, this dude's fucking speakers to his car. Dude, what the fuck? It's night time. Turn that shit off. The Greeks refer to sharks as the hounds of the sea, and this one is certainly living up to its reputation. Did they really? Hounds of the sea. Huh. No, I'm too fat. I can't fit through. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure this game has like legit facts mixed in with all its random nonsense. <laughs> I like that they bleep the swearing. <laughs> sort of. It's kind of funny. Like they did that, you know, this is like a reality TV show they're recording, so they can't have swearing on the TV. I see a marker like way over there. As you can see, the Gulf Coast stopped growing cotton and rice and started growing luxury vacation homes. go. There's some undiscovered stuff over here. One of them is a license plate. supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. Target Barracuda over here. people to go after over here. Yeah, it could be the the their ability to sense smells from like super far away.
Using crude weapons to take down alpha predators is a skill many shark hunters honed while in prison. You say most shark hunters are like former prisoners? Hunters get her. Try to get her reputation. Wrinkle. Right so I'm pretty sure we can be like. I don't know. The second hunter they sent after us was super easy, just like the first, so. You know, I'm just like flying through there, doing barrel rolls to dodge beam shot. I wonder, is this a, like these boats or? and all other creations of man is unmistakable. Shark bounties became commonplace here after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective. Shark charmers? Are these more hunters over here? Or... No, just normal as people. They need more hunters. Here we go. Italy owners to kill a shark. <laughs> there 
there, go. The savage oh, there he is. Oh. Now, yeah, about The bull shark obstinately digs in as the conflict escalates. Candyman Curtis. Ensign Tyler Dixon. He's the only one his name hasn't rhymed yet. Well, I guess by you, Willie. But then you have Bobby Mojangles, Pookie Paul, Candyman Curtis. Richard Borg Brady. Shannon Sims. Mama Mabel. Interesting. Oh, they have like vials. Once hunting alligators became too easy, Bayou Willie moved on to bigger prey. Now he's looking for sharks to make some new foods out of. He can take the man out of the bayou, but he can't take the bayou out of the man. Boots were made for stomping sharks, and that's just what they'll do. Oh my god, there's so many references and like memes. Bobby Ball Jingles, five time winner of the Quad County Chili Cook Off with her shark gator chili. Bobby's looking to get more meat for the pot. And then Paul, we just killed. After getting kicked out of the Coast Guard for drinking in insubordination stemming from an incident involving an exploding moonshine still, Pookie Paul seeks to redeem himself with acts of violence against sharks. This shark's gonna die because I'm gonna kill it. Well, yeah, that didn't really work out for him, did it? And the next guy after him, Katie Man Curtis. I'm getting bounced back after a bad speedboat racing season. The Candyman is putting his skills as a helmsman to different uses now. Desperate for attention, he seeks shark hunters versus man eaters as his last shot. He sees, not seeks. When a shark kill on camera and I'll be back on top. Uh huh, we'll see about that. Uh, we have, what is this over here? A spinning game. Okay. Another Mako target over this way. 
and go get it. Yeah, a breeze would be nice. Boat exploding like fucking launched me. <laughs> right at me. Yeah. I remember the annoyingest Mako said always dodges. in the eternal struggle between man and nature. <laughs> this game is very random, yeah. A shark sense of smell is simply astonishing. It's like, it's not through like one of the gates, is it? Yeah, it's probably in this cave. Mako's often feed on juveniles, primarily due to a deadly combination of wage stagnation and rising childcare costs. Uh... <laughs> Alright. Didn't know those were things sharks had to worry about. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time well, for sober self-reflection. Beach balls, rather. Okay, anything to... I mean, I have all these max. Anything else to, like, upgrade? We could do bioelectric or bone teeth. Maybe I'll save points for when we get stuff for the body. Upgrade. by a shark, it's always best to escape to a respectful distance. Kinda hard to escape to a respectful distance when the shark can jump on the land and come after you. Must now be killed and publicly displayed to satisfy the seas. Rich people parties always end in a fight over whether a poodle wheat and terrier mix should be called a woodle or a weedle. Right. They're throwing fucking dynamite at me now.
so come back now, you hear? Jeez. So begins another reckless campaign of extermination. More hunters? Yeah. Another human is reduced to the faceless many who live, die, and leave no record on this earth. Jeez. The fishing phenom, Candyman Curtis. side boats before we go after Curtis. She really knocked him in the water, huh? Only time will tell whether government actions can diminish poor Clovis's reputation as a shark attack hotspot. Poor Clovis is thoroughly energized by the shark menace. Retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. Come on now. Is that Can I upgrade what they're looking? Oh my god, I can. Oh hey, buddy. You got me, what did they get me? Increases your speed when you are badly injured. Oh, that's not really worth it. That's how many minerals you gain. Yeah. 
Hey, what else is there left? Oh, I guess just going after the Apex. Nah, that ain't it. I'm wait for them to be done searching. Hell, I don't know. Maybe she's scared of us. She's close. She's real close. Getting word from base to head home. Humans' attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so thus ends the bounty. Nice. Okay. The Sultan of Speed. The maker. Is it a golf ball? It's one of his eyes. And aggressive, Jeez. the Mako is known as the Peregrine Falcon of Sharks. But as the Peregrine is a land based bird, this designation means nothing to the Mako. Right, uh, get a fin upgrade. Let's go equip that real quick. Bone fin. It turns you into a spinning bone bladed blunder obstruction. Uninvade and put their damage on anything within one meter. Ooh, interesting. Let's upgrade it, why not? Mix up those draws. There we go. You know, we're getting into Kaichi territory. Well, we're already at that when I had, like, the fucking ability to install- or install, like, evolved to have electrical teeth. <laughs> like, I'm not a normal-ass shark by any means. It's probably all the radiation in the water, you know? <laughs> there we go, update. Back aboard the Cajun Queen, family tensions are at an all-time high. Akan, what's wrong? Can you catch no reef? I can, but this one's like 20 feet. 15. Whatever. Can't do it. I'll come out there, I'll do it. The old man with one hand. Yeah, well maybe you shouldn't be mutilating baby sharks. What are you saying? Nothing. Boy I couldn't catch in a diaper. He telling me how to honor shark. Believe that? I mean, I came down here thinking it'd be a good opportunity for some father-son bonding. But now, I don't know. I might start looking for another summer job. Hey, not everybody made to be a fisherman. I just hope this whole university thing works out for him, yeah? Oh. I like these little like bits of like family drama we're getting outside of our shark carnage. Oh, a uh, new area? 
Yeah, you were real. What is this one? Tigeroos are part of a complete balanced breakfast for anyone aspiring to one day suffer from fatty liver disease. <laughs> okay, jeez. Sapphire yeah. <laughs> Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. They put, like, hashtags, like, down in the corner for, like, a lot of what they say. Because when he said the the government conspiracy, it's a government conspiracy, like, spelt wrong. <laughs> down in the corner, hashtag government. <laughs> it's like, okay. So now that we're getting into like less the grotto, more like actual open ocean. Nice. While related to the Ciro and Spanish mackerel, the king mackerel doesn't really talk to its family and prefers that you just stop asking questions, okay? <laughs> a license plate over this boat. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. I can fight scaly. <laughs> That's what it tells me in the bottom right. Over the course of a bull shark's life, it will ingest quite a broad assortment of flotsam and jetsam. Like, this is basically a revenge story. Like, he killed my mom and he, like, cut my, like, fin. So I'm out for vengeance. <laughs> I am after him for the wrongs he has done to me and my family. <laughs> Quite 
quite a strange conglomeration of stuff will end up in the stomachs of sharks. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole aim is to eat and evolve. It couldn't just be your, like, a man eating shark. No, you gotta have some, like, backstory plot for why you're rooting for the shark to be eating all these people. Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. Right. Anything else in here? So we're this way. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. No, I know it's this way. The gate is broken. Why can I not? There we go. Jeez. Uh. I'm gonna jump onto the pier somehow. After the license plate. There we go. <laughs> and then there's a thingy under here too. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Oh well, let's license plate. When the pew that's in the water for once, you know? There's no such thing as a recession proof business, except for the frozen banana stand. Whether boom or bust, the demand for reliable, quality frozen bananas remains a constant. Huh. Oh, speaking of bananas, I know we talked about, like, banana ice cream, like, what feels like a long ass time ago. Uh, I guess if you could never find any, you could just make your own, right? But bringing up uh, ice cream at home isn't too difficult. Hammerhead? It is.
Long a haven for small government ideologues, Port Clovis prides itself in its lax amusement park safety standards. <laughs> uh... I don't know the mm, prides itself for all the wrong reasons. Get it? Okay, this is this area's grotto. You should probably check this out. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. Dang it, new things. Shadow fins. At least a poison cloud around you when you evade. Kind of like you do damage when you evade a little bit more than this. It's one of my quests for the area. Go after people, for the most part. Or eat parrotfish, There's a landmark over this way. As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get. So this is a reference to Castaway. Yeah, just like everyone standing around dazed and confused. Shark rips out a street sign and leaves. It's one of those things like even if you had recorded it and like posted it on the internet, it's hard for like people to believe you. largest shark finning enterprise, Mama Maybell Bryant has collected quite a fleet of recreational boats. Her fail sons, Randall and Tyson, can often be spotted piloting them around Sapphire Bay. <laughs> shark hunters stalk their prey, fully aware of the grisly horrors that await them on a single misstep. Sapphire Bay, right the other day. ship over there. into a crimson foam. attacks remind us that sharks are very important animals in our marine ecosystem. Um. 
Oh, oops. There we go. When shark season ends, hunters return to their normal routine of bouncing checks at liquor stores. Well, oh, there's our target, Quentin Martin. Oh, oh fuck, hammer it. Actually, the hammerhead's lower level than the marlin was. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close. of parrotfish here have kept Sapphire Bay's local hammerhead healthy and strange looking. Yeah, they Yeah, the shark hunters are basically It's not even like a job, it's just kind of like a hobby of bunch of the drunk low hools apparently do. That's what they make it sound like. There's a box over here, which means there's probably an entrance somewhere to get to it. Yep. Hunger is a driving force for the bull shark. That's what you want me to do. More parrotfish, huh? Where'd it go? There was a an albino. There we go. Oh, landmark. Oh, Illuminati. Like American cities, the founders yeah, of Port Illuminati Clovis were Freemasons. <laughs> and probably Illuminati, who congregated in secret UFO bases to perform Luciferian blood rituals. God, there's so many, like, memes and references. <laughs> Thank you. 
Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. Swordfish, huh? Another box over here. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. a bunch of parrotfish, don't they? This is like the third one involving them. There's a... that's a... oh, that actually there's a couple of uh, mining rigs. Out there, there. Believe it or not, people paid over $12,000 to sleep in these tents and listen to Swedish DJs for an entire weekend. Is that like a riff on a... I don't... I can't remember what year this game came out, but like a riff on like the Fire Festival fiasco. Shark attack is always shockingly gruesome, in spite of it being a natural, everyday function of our ocean's ecosystem. Sharks have terrorized mariners for centuries. The shark hunters have arrived. Soon we will see them in action, and quite possibly discover which one of them stole my car stereo. Uh... <laughs> Bull sharks have a habit of gobbling up anything that finds its way into the water. Howdy for you, boys. Oh, it can be anywhere. It's hurting me. I know it. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Hammerhead hey, after me? Yes.
Nice. Apex Predator Hammerhead, huh? We also have more uh, fishermen slash hunters to go after. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, like I, I believe he is in jail. I thought that like uh, there was a trial that happened already. Yeah, there's one thing that could be dangerous to me. It's that fucking orc over there. Like, no joke. <laughs> like, if we're talking about things that actually fuck up sharks in the wild. Transporting British made liquors from the Bahamas. The ocean is a fluid and fascinating world. Always changing, forever in motion. Only the prosperity created by global capitalism allows vacationers to purchase Sun Your Buns and Port Clovis ashtrays. run away to the sea with a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living. What? No, I don't think that's actually something someone wishes to do. to a close. Another bot, huh? Colonel Sins, a Predator, Hammerhead. Let's go after, well, hmm, the Apex Hammerhead's gonna be, like, right there. We just go to the grotto to see if there's anything to upgrade? Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered call. Bone fins are maxed. I also have something over here. Another box. 
the appetite of this the evolutionary anomaly, the Hammerhead. There he is. What level are you? 21? Okay, so we're pretty close. teeth upgrade every time I fight, I heal, so I can kind of just spam attacks. The bull shark triumphs, overcoming her opponent's clearly superior depth perception. <laughs> okay, we got people over here. Hmm, I'll launch myself onto the a fountain has been put out, and now a dangerous army of lawless trigger happy sadists begin shooting anything that moves. Take God to the economy when he wasn't nothing but an itty bitty boy. The fact that he was afraid of that Ferris wheel should have told me he wasn't never gonna be no shark. What? If he was a kid, that doesn't mean nothing. Oh my god. This is just a bad dad. Let's rank five. I should be ring five. Do I have to like advance the story? By putting sharks in their that? place, oh, hunters ensure they'll stay in their lane. So we don't have a the Hoosier hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. Oh, 
Yeah, the main guy's son just, he's like studying to be a marine biologist. He like doesn't actually want to be here, like doing Sharknade. He just wanted to spend time with his dad. His dad's a fucking asshole, so it's not going well. Marine Predator displays little caution as the situation further escalates. Rid of these like last ships so I can like swim away better. So I'm being followed. Sophisticated wildlife management has never been a priority in Port Clovis, and so amateur hour begins. Right. <laughs> You're in Sapphire Bay. Be on the lookout for a large female bull. Shoot her on sight. We have quests. Oh, we have Pete's latest undertaking. Look at that. for a good old-fashioned bounty hunter? I'll wait until they're done looking for it's me. It's here in the we'll grotto that. that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. So the dude we just fought. Uh, what's his stuff? Career Coast Guard Einstein. Never advancing due to his unlimited laziness. Dixon figures maybe bringing in a man-eater could get him a few weeks of extra layabout time. We need to kill the shark before my afternoon nap or I get real grumpy. Oh my god. So who's the next dude we'd be fighting? Butcher Boy Brady. Scaly Pete's rival in local shark hunting circles. Butcher Boy Brady is always looking to show up his Cajun competition. I don't lose sharks. That shark's shark gets away, you lost her. I'll give me the electric body. Ooh. You got me electric fins. No electric fins do. Turns you into lightning for a fraction of a second when you invade. Turn in lightning inflicting four damage and putting one stun counter on everything. No, I don't know, I kinda like the bone fins, just like Spinning into things damages them while invading. It's like super nice for destroying like the boats and stuff. Oh, bone body. When it activated, the evolution gives you the bone crusher ability. It is recharged by biting or consuming creatures. And then the truth crest only that's DLC stuff, so that doesn't matter. Bone Crusher turns you into a bone battering ram, allowing you to shatter boats like less. 
3 damage reduction, 20 ramming damage. Ooh. On one, just inflict 40 damage on everything. Then 2 meters. That sounds pretty good, but I'll wait to do that once we upgrade it a little bit. What does it look like equipped though? I just want to see. I've become like, oh white, oh jeez. Whoa, <laughs> there was any- <laughs> jeez, I am definitely not a normal ass shark. I like the way the tiger looks, though. That's the thing. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark, for now. Alright, let's go see what Pete's doing, and then... After this, I'll probably end the stream. I'm going for five and a half hours. My playtime for this game, doing everything, so all the side stuff, getting out the license plates and everything, was like 10 hours, like 53 minutes, something like that. So we're already going off of that halfway through this game. <laughs> As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. Well, you want to see dangerous? Look at that, yeah? That's yep. PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with tree. Oh. Man survives all that. Just to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Boy, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not, not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also stuff like misspelling. Boy, I just say it. Maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Oh, we can challenge Pete and Kyle? Pete killed your mother. What more motivation do you need? Bro, okay, we're gonna do this one. This quest real quick, and then we'll end the stream. I don't know, this followed like right after. Yeah. Fight me, scaly Pete! Uh-huh. <laughs> that big ring 
team. Need reinforcements. Don't drag ass now. That their cage cost me three thousand dollars. Well, money wasted, I'd say. She's gonna be in spillers already almost like gone. <laughs> Lumens are like the best. <laughs> Oh, there we go. <laughs> Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. Ah! Big enough to toss him now, ain't you? Can! Get that can! Down, sir! Pete, get to work! Sorry, did they just light me on fire? We're about to blow! Get the f off! Forget him, boss! He's just a boy! Oh, well, oh, damn. Cop! <coughs> Cop! <coughs> 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 And slowly Jeez. sinks to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> the shark is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can jump higher now. I probably got the uh, license plate I was having problems with. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> like the producers of this uh, reality TV show are kind of assholes. <laughs> Their hashtags, like jeez. All the way to Elder. We, you level as a shark like super fast in this game, I guess. Like, I didn't even remember things being so quick. <laughs> so we can pretty much go everywhere now. And uh, okay, looking at the map, there's only three areas. Well, four if you count Crawfish Bay. There's only like four areas we haven't gone to yet. So yeah, we're definitely probably like halfway through this game. Uh, so we'll leave it on that dramatic conclusion to, well, our battle with Scaly Pete. <laughs> yeah, this, this game is wild. It's full of like so much crazy nonsense and super fun. It's like, maybe someday I'll get the DLC and like, play that on stream, uh, but I probably, I don't know, I probably won't be, like, anytime soon, because I kind of want to save any extra money I have for getting Callisto Protocol, but, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching the stream, I always appreciate it, uh, tomorrow we'll be playing more Maneater, and most likely finishing this game. Yeah, get to see the epic conclusion to our shark versus man story. <laughs> so yeah, hope you guys all have a good night or evening. And I'll see you all next time. Later, everyone. <laughs>